So what are some IBE outcomes? You got it set up and then you need to define what those outcomes are. Good for you. You need to be thinking about your deliverables. You know, post IBE, what do I really expect, okay? You need to be explicit. Be intentional right here. Go through your goals and make sure they're achieved and that the vendor that's supporting you understands what they are. Those reports should be organized in a manner that makes sense to you, not them. Line by line, line to machine, what the control panels are, all that different nomenclature, you need to define it, okay? Because if you get that report back and it doesn't align or make sense to you, it's not going to bring you any value. So those summary reports should really detail what you expect, okay? It's by, by the language that's important to you. And think through things like current, like what's, what product is current right now by the manufacturer that has a supported path in the future. So if it's current, roll with it. You know, you know that you have support there. If you have product installed at the end of life, that needs to be considered for, for, for replacements or upgrades. So that could be an area for modernization that you focus on. You need to think through functional risk. Okay, so maybe that, that installation didn't work as it was intended. So be thinking about that and understanding what the functional risks are. And then obsolete or unsupported. You need to at least know what equipment you own that is obsolete or unsupported because at that point, it's all on you. You need to figure out a path forward. Okay, so there are other deliverables to consider, such as a detailed list of those recommended upgrades and some, what some of those co costs are. You really need to know that. And if you've done that criticality assessment and that critical spares planning was conducted, now it's good to not only request a detailed summary, but an, actor, an after action review as well. So you can use a complete IBE as that really that blueprint to begin planning and prioritizing your upgrades, which in many cases can be straightforward. But if, to make the most out of the upgrades, you need to start thinking about the smart devices where possible to really begin that, that progression of modernization, right? So that IBE can be used as that basis to evaluate what's smart and what needs to go into my plan. Bottom line, capture this. Don't let the IBE stop once you get, this, once you get the data. Great job on, you on getting an IBE, but we've seen it happen too many times before. This big pile of data comes in and I don't know what to do with it. You need to take action, take a deep breath, congratulations, you got it done. Now start putting in the work to figure out where I can start devoting resources to make the biggest impact in my plan.